You are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is a squared minus b. This is equal to 1, that 3. Let's call this equation 1. And that b squared minus a, this is equal to 1, that 3. Let's call this equation 2. So what is the value of a and what is the value of b, given that a is not equal to b, and that a is not equal to 0, as well as b is not equal to 0. So let's provide the solution from, from here. Now, the first step is to subtract equation 1 with equation 2. And this implies that here we have a squared minus b, then subtract b squared minus a. This is equal to 133, subtract 130. Three. And therefore, we have a squared minus b. Let's open the parentheses here. Then minus b squared. Then we have minus times minus a. This is plus a. Then this is equal to 1 that 3 minus 1 that 3. This is equal to 0. Now, we have a squared minus b squared. Now, then plus a subtract b. This is equal to 0. Now, a squared minus b squared, this is the difference of two perfect squares that can be expressed as a plus b, then a minus b, then plus here we have a minus b. This is equal to 0. Now, we have that a minus b is common here. We can factor out a minus b into the parentheses. Here we have a plus b. Then plus 1, this is equal to 0. So we have two parts here. The first part is A minus B, this is equal to 0. The second part here, we have A plus B plus 1, this is equal to 0. From the first part here, we have that A is equal to B. And this violates the condition that here, A is not equal to b. So this implies that this particular part here is rejected. So this part is rejected. Now we have that a plus b, this is equal to, now let's take plus 1 on the right hand side, this becomes minus 1, and let's call this equation 3. Now the next step from here, let's add Let's add equation 1 with equation 2. So that now we have a squared, a squared minus b, then plus b squared, subtract a. This is equal to 133 plus 133. So this implies that here we have a squared plus b squared, then plus here we have minus a this is the same thing as we have minus a minus b and this is equal to 1 that 3 plus 1 that 3 and this is equal to 266 now here we have a squared minus that is plus b squared minus a minus b this is equal to 266 now let's take minus a minus b on the right hand side so that we have a squared plus b squared this is equal to 266 then plus a then plus b so that now a squared plus b squared this is equal to 266 plus a plus b, this is what we have in equation 3 here, which is minus 1. So let's substitute minus 1. So that now, here we have plus minus 1, and this implies that a squared plus b squared, this is equal to 266 minus 1, and this is 265. Let's call this equation 4. Now, the next step from here, we have that a 
plus b raised to the power of 2. This is the same thing as a squared plus b squared then plus 2ab. Now, we have that here. a squared plus b squared, in this case, is we have is 265. So we have 265 plus 2 multiplied by a times b. So we have a, b. But we have that a plus b here. This is what we have in equation 3 here, which is minus 1. So here we have minus 1 raised to the power of 2. This is equal to 265 plus 2ab. So minus 1 squared, it is 1. This is equal to 265 plus 2ab. So let's take 265 on the left hand side so that we have 1 minus 265. This is equal to 2ab. So 1 minus 265, this is minus 264. This is equal to 2ab. So let's divide both signs by 2. So that now we have that ab, this is equal to minus 132. We have minus 132. So since we have the value of ab, which is minus 132, then we have that a minus b raised to the power of 2. This is the same thing as a squared plus b squared minus 2ab. So we have that a squared plus b squared. Remember, this is what we have in equation 4 which is 265. So we can substitute this so that we have here 265 minus 2 times AB. AB is minus 132. So that now here we have 265 minus 2 times minus 132. This becomes plus. Now this is 264. We have 2. 64. So we have 265 plus 264, and this is equal to 529. So we have that A minus B raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 529. So, so for A minus B, we introduce a square root on both sides, so that we have the square root of A minus B raised to the power of 2, this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 529. So let's eliminate the square root sign here, so that now a minus b, this is equal to plus or minus the square root of 529, and this is equal to plus or minus 23. Now therefore, we have that a minus b, this is equal to plus 23 here, and we have that a minus b, this is equal to minus 23. Now, from equation 3, from equation 3 here, which is a plus b is equal to minus 1. So, we have a plus b, this is equal to minus 1. And also, we have a, a plus b, this is equal to minus 1. So, let's sum these two green equations from the first part here. So that now we have a plus a, this is 2a, then we have minus b plus plus b, this is 0, this is equal to 23, plus minus 1, this is equal to 22. So let's divide both signs by 2, so that now we have that a is equal to 22 divided by 2, and this is equal to 11. So we can call this one a1. So we can solve for the value of b1. Remember a minus b, this is equal to 23. So this implies that a1 is a is 11 minus b, this is equal to 23. So we have minus b, this is equal to 23, subtract 11. And this implies that minus b is equal to 23 minus 11, and this is equal to this is actually equal to 12. So we divide both signs by minus, 
and this implies that b1 is equal to minus 12. So therefore, we have that a1, comma b1, this is equal to, we have 11, comma, minus 12. So this is the first set of solution here. Now, let's solve for the second set of solution here. So again, we have two systems of ring equations. So let's add these two systems of ring equations. a plus a, this is 2a, minus b plus b, this is this simplifies. Then we have minus 23 plus minus 1. This becomes minus 24. Let's divide both signs by 2. And this implies that a2 is equal to minus 12. So now we can solve for b2. Remember a minus b. This is equal to minus 23. So we can solve for we can solve for b. Remember, we have minus 12 minus b. This is equal to minus 23. So we'll have that minus b. This is equal to minus 23. Let's take minus 12 on the right hand side. This becomes plus 12. And therefore, we have minus b. This is equal to minus 23 plus 12. This becomes minus 11. So let's divide both sides by minus so that b2 is equal to positive 11. And this implies that the second set of solutions here, a2, b2, this is essentially equal to minus 12, 11. So we have two set of solutions here, a1, b1, and a2, b2. The next step is to verify. So let's verify here. Now, if you recall, if you recall, we have that a squared minus b, this should give us a value of 133, and that b squared minus a, this is supposed to give us a value of 133. This is equation 1, and this is equation 2. So let's verify a1, b1 with equation 1, so that now, we have 11 squared minus, we have b, which is minus 12. Let's see if this will give us a value of 133. 11 squared, this is 121. Minus times minus 12, this is plus 12. This is supposed to give us a value of 133. So 121 plus 12, this is equal to 133 which is equal to 133. So the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this proves that A1, B1 satisfies the equation. Let's check A2, B2 with equation 2 here. So we have that B squared minus A should give us a value of 133. So we have again 11 squared minus a, remember a is minus 12, this is supposed to give us a value of 133. So 11 squared, this is 121, minus times minus 12, this becomes plus 12, this should give us a value of 133. So 121 plus 12, this is 133, which is equal to 133. The left hand side is equal to the right hand side, and this again Proves that a2, comma b2 satisfies the equation. So, kindly follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. Please like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.